Yo, Yo they... Astro projected I went to the womb. Excuse me? No, no, for yeah. real. Yeah. I Astro projected to a woman's womb. I would love brought, to hear more, please. No, no, it brought a different like respect for women because um, that's where I felt the presence of God. Hey, this is Mike Tyson. This is another episode of Hot Boxing. I have my co-host Bash, and today we have no, we have such a big superstar, but. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> so we're going to look at No Love Entertainment Superstar, my man. And that lead chop alive in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, my man? How you doing today? Man, bless extremely. Where oh. you from? Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I was reading your biograph with all this smart <laughs> coming with your spirit. <laughs> yeah. You got me a little scary talk. Tell us about it. Oh, man, just... Honestly, just feel like I've been learning a lot in this life. Um, you know, I'm one of those people that's always been hard-headed. I always went against the grain, so I had to go through a lot of things to get to where I'm at now. But, you know, I never let it define who I am on the inside. You know, I always grew from it. You know? Yeah, you know, if, you know, in order to be a master, you first have to be a fool. Yeah, always. You know, I agree with that. Mm. So tell me, what do you think about life? When I think about life... Do you believe you were here before? Man, a few times. Yeah. <laughs> um, my soul ran back deep, man. Um, I get a lot of things. You know, you're on the spiritual tip, so the rhythm of life is just so beautiful because you realize, like, your steps are just so ordered. Do from... you believe life is an um, illusion? Um, I feel like it depends on the perception of it, how you trying to, how you, like, look at it. Um, Do you believe all of this is true and when you die... You come back in, um, in another form, a bug, a cat, a girl. Yeah, for you sure. Know. Yeah, for sure. You I feel, feel like once you pass, you you do something. It's like life is, at the end of the day, life is like a big test. Mm -hmm. You know, so I feel like once you once you pass away, you look over the review of the test. I thought yeah. that before, too. Yeah. yeah. And if you pass, you stay in heaven. If you don't pass, you got to try that. Don't yeah. Right, that's like, <laughs> well, even if you oh, pass, I feel shit. like you stay in heaven for a certain amount of time until you, till your soul, your spirit want to, you know, come yeah. back on this physical. I can't mm -hmm. believe the spirit died. The spirit, like, what was in us to make us talk, to make us sing, dance, fight, whatever it is. I can't believe when we pass, it just no longer exists. Mm -hmm. That's real. That's real, mm -hmm. Mike. NLE, so you've had a lot of success. You're 20 years old. You got platinum all over the place, right? Yeah. I don't even know your name. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, nah, you're doing it. You're doing it real well right now. And um, so, how how you were you discovered exactly your story? How did that come? Name Bryson. No, go ahead, come on. How you get discovered, brother? Man, uh, I got discovered pretty much. Um, I used to record freestyles or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, Used to post them to, to my Instagram or whatnot. And um after the traction I was getting, I started to take it seriously musically and started to actually How many views you got your first song? My first song, I wrote it like about a heartbreak and um it got a hundred thousand views in a month on the wow. audio. Wow. And when once I did that on my first go round, it was my first song, my first release, I was like, okay, I can do something with this. And a year later I blew up. I was 14 at the t 14, turned to 15 at the time. And then when I blew up, I was 16. So it just came back full circle. So they said you got a bunch of platinum certified, like right? Shot of Flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> no, Shot of, no, I know shot of Flow was the one. Yeah, that was the one that blew up, you know. Um, I remember that whole journey from writing a song. I was writing a song. Mm -hmm. And um, my sister, she was banging on my door because I had the music so loud. Mm -hmm. and I was writing it. Then I recorded it. I recorded a snippet of it with me rapping to it in a car, and it went viral. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. I had a few. I had a few bucks to work it. Work with like two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I went and bought me an outfit. Yeah. I went. Um. I paid for the studio time, which was forty, and I paid for the video. Mm -hmm. Um. By the time I didn't have any more money, my bank account was in the negative, but I put it all into you that. Know. You know, my dream, mm -hmm. what I love to do. Yeah. And uh, it paid me back more than I can imagine. You know. So. Yeah. Got out the mud. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I, it's funny, too. I remember, like, if you look at it, it's just gun heavy. I was a type that used to um, hide everything from my mama. Uh -huh. So, like, if if someone would have had it to me, she would have like... that country, mama. 
Yeah, nigga. So when she saw this shit, she was like, what's up with all these damn guns? It was like, it was crazy. So, I, so listen, how many, how, my, um, how are you with money? Are you good with money? I'm perfect with money because I don't let it define who I am. No, I don't. No, no, how do you, how do you, um, how do you nurture it? Do you spend a lot of stuff? Do you hide it? Do you send it, put it in the bank? I just put it up. Yeah. Like she, my, my dude, she my accountant. I don't talk cash. Yeah, I know. I'm just no. serious. You know, how, what people, because when I had my money, I bought everything. You want to roll for it? <laughs> you, you, you want one, baby? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, come on, everybody. What y'all want? Let's get, you want that plane? Come on, let's get here. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, I, go crazy like that. No, I try to nourish it more because good, good, good. Yeah, I feel like she kept me right in the ass, but she's a kept my mom do she everything. She, if I ain't have her, I probably would have been, you know, crazy with it. But I just never I think money isn't isn't it for me. Money isn't what satisfied mm -hmm. me in a sense to where, you know, I feel like me just keeping my peace of mind mm -hmm. and however I keep that reflects on my bank account. Well you know? well no, um Life is gonna test you on that frame of mind. Good, that peace of mind. Life tests you on that. Yeah, always. How bad do. you really want it? Yeah, <laughs> every day. But man, I think my worst enemy is cash up though. Like cash up, I, mm -hmm. I like you know people ask for money all the time. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people always you know, wanting something. You know what's you know? so interesting? You need to. Learn. You're a young kid. You don't know the power of the word no. Yeah. They respect you more. No, I'll be, I'll be saying them, it now. You, give them to <laughs> you know, and it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. Once you give them something, they lose respect for you. Yeah. Once you say no, they respect you. For, I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's like that. I don't know. Yeah. It's just yeah. stupid. Yeah, man. So how so, do you describe your music and your style? My music and my style is just unique. It's just a product of the environment from where I'm from. Are That's you that? What's that rap they talk about? Are you trap rap? Lay it like something. You can say that. I can really... I could really spit on whatever, you know, mm -hmm. diversity, on um, trap. I got songs that's spiritual. Mm -hmm. uh, my catalog run deep. Like, I got unreleased songs that's gospel, reggae. Mm -hmm. You know, I like, I'm pretty much a jack of all trades, but they'll put me in a box of a trap rapper, but mm -hmm. I'm really, It's good you know, to be in hard. boxes sometimes. Some boxes are good. Mm -hmm. It's depending on what box they put you in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you love the most, though? Like, what do you love the most, like, making? It's like, therapy, you know? Huh? It's therapy. Yeah. I've always had, like, communication problems of, like, voicing how I genuinely feel. Mm -hmm. But music is just, like, it's poetry. What do you mean communication problem? So, like, if, if let's just say, you know, this would be dope. If you was my pops <laughs> <laughs> and we talking and um, I'm going through things on a daily and you ask me, you know, you like, son, you okay? You good? And it's like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. But deep down, you know, you're not. Mm. You know, I feel like I've always dealt with that, but... I've always been the person that was like, okay, I'm, I'm too man enough to voice how I really feel. But music really put me in a pocket to be able to pen and pad how I feel and just express my emotions. And uh -huh. it's been therapeutic. I just fell in love with it, you know? You ever write about your daughter? Always. I got a song called Little to My Daughter. That's awesome. You know, it was um, it's actually out. And um, it was a time period where I missed like a whole year of my daughter's life. You know how that goes was just, you know, you not been on the same page with the baby's mother or whatnot, but yeah, you know. I so I, I I know that I know that pain is what's funny. I grew up on this song called I Just Wanna See My Son. Mm -hmm. And it's funny how it was CeeLo Green and Don Tripp. Mm -hmm. It's funny how God put certain things in your face to let you know how your life is going to be when you get older. Cause I didn't understand the song, but I just love it. What do you think about God? Who do you think God is? Some little man up there dictating who's God to I feel you? like God is just within you. I feel like yeah. we are. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I am, you know? So um, I feel like I am the God of my life. I create. That's the creator. We create every day. I feel like the surrender is, the surrender to it, though, is who's helping me that I can't see. Mm -hmm. And that's also God to me as well. And then even deeper, I feel like God is just simply love because I felt the presence of God. How, how do you think? See, I'm curious, too. I'm, I'm, I'm a seeker. How do you think this all began? I feel like it all began as like... um a big blank consciousness of one. And um, you just hear it and it's just like this. I feel like that's how life began. When you close your eyes, I feel like that's what life was. It was nothing, it was just pitch darkness and only thing you could hear was voices, people you was close to, to reach out to, and you just in this presence of love. And it's like, hey, <laughs> I feel like somebody was like, hey, how about we make this feeling something physical? And I feel like that's how just you how you define love in your Love, how do I define love? Everyone different, I just like to hear mm -hmm. different perspective. 
as far as how do I define love, receiving it, or how do I no, define just, it? it? It's existence, mm -hmm. the existence of it. Mm. The existence of love, how do I define it? It's hard to define it, but it's so simply understood within me. Mm. But, Everybody has different yeah, sides of it. I just feel like it's just pretty much the opposite of hate. Whatever you feel is hateful. Whatever you feel is, is um fearful. Whatever you feel is, is something that brings dread. And I feel like the opposite of that is love. Um, and situations where it can help you understand what love is is asking what would love do. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've been in situations where my back against the my back was against the wall, and you'd be like, okay, what would love do? And that's the same context of what would Jesus do or what would God do. So I feel like it all goes back to love. What we love doing? I feel like when you ask yourself those questions, how you move accordingly is what 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 makes your good karma. You know what we love do. So what do you think? What do you think about our world? You think if Jesus came back, this be a different world? Um, if of course be yeah, of course be different if he came back. Yeah, definitely you know, be different. Right? Listen, definitely be different. Jesus, the prophet Jesus might be in here. Jesus yeah, yeah. might be somewhere else, and we'll yeah. probably kill him again. And that's when I that's a that's a good thing you say. I feel like first and foremost, the book of the Bible is just a Bible of a blueprint of how we are supposed to be. Anyone can be that Jesus. Anyone can be that Moses. Everyone has purpose. Jesus is just a man with purpose. Jesus had a purpose, a calling on his life that he heard beyond his his realm of sin in the physical. So everyone has that. Everyone has their purpose. I tell people every day, like, yo, I know I relate to Jesus because I know that I have a purpose over my life. And I know when, I, when I'm done with it, my testimony would change people's lives. And that's all that Jesus was. Uh, Jesus, I, I don't know if he's a real person, ever was a real person, but the character itself in the Bible speaks volume of how we're supposed to live. We all have callings. We live it. We sacrifice our own to make sure that everybody If you don't else... think, um, if, yes, I know you do, but if you didn't think Jesus existed, how did he get into the Bible? I feel like in the same sense, I just feel, I feel like sometimes it's stories about us. Yeah, I agree with that. Now, rather or not the name is the name or who's, you know, who's who, I feel like it's characterized under a different name, but mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a reflection to everything that goes on. So it all goes back to us. Now, I don't know if that's the real name. I don't know about that, but, you know, I, I do feel it goes back to us, you know, so. I agree, too. Yeah. I agree, too. Listen, your mother's been telling you about this shit. Huh? You shouldn't be knowing this shit. Nah, nah, nah. She don't even <laughs> dig deep in this tight talk. <laughs> she, she, she shy away from this tight talk. You know, she, she like, that's you. She like, this type of talk, that's you. But, you know, if I ain't have her in my life, I probably would have never led to being able to talk like this, though, so. So you think we all descended from Ham? From Ham? Yeah. He's in that's in the Bible um, that we believe. One of, the, one of Noah's sons, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. And that we're all black people descended from him. And they're really not that old. What's Moses, 15, 1500 BC, something mm. like that? Mm. That's a baby, you know, as far as eternity goes. Mm. Wow. As far as life, the perspective of life, we just, we're nothing. We're this big. Yeah. You, you realize that too when you get in the oh, ocean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like when you get in the ocean, yeah. you realize how small you are. Oh, how humble you become, yeah. bro. I was in Cabo of the day. I, of the day, I just got back. I was in the ocean. Bro, I got you realize Yeah, like, I was like, is, nah. Bro. I was swimming around. I was like, nah, let me get back on this boat. Yeah. Like, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Like, I Man, you realize what? Yeah, you just like, realize, like, and that's, that's the beauty of life. You realize, like, even though we're so caught up and in tune with our life, but I feel like the surrender is to knowing that, you know, only thing that's big on our life is purpose. The vessel, not who we are, isn't. Like, I say to this day, when you speak of my daughter, I look at my daughter, I can show her NLE Chopper all day, but she know Bryson, mm -hmm. you know. She know her dad, you know. I can play music videos for her all the time, but it's like, okay, dad, that Coco Melon. Like, like she, it, it's just a humbling experience with this life. I, I get humble with everything. Like, when I was in the ocean, made me realize how small I am to mm -hmm. the bigger, the higher forces, the higher power, so... You know? you know, you have to look at, like, from this perspective, you're nothing, 
but you're everything. Yeah, you everything know? inside us. Yeah, from you're nothing, stars. but you're everything. everything. Yeah. That's from God, too. Mm -hmm. Facts. So what are you doing, man? Who are you married? What about your baby mama? What's your, what's your relationship like? Um, it's growing, you know. I feel like court helped it a lot, but, you know, it's growing. And um, at the end of the day, I don't have to be lovey-dovey. I don't have to have that. I just simply want being able to co-parent on common grounds. And we do that well, so, you know, it's blessed from there. Are you blessing. cool? You're a nice guy. You know, most guys be trying to, oh, I'm still anyway. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's when the mashup happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you got you got a new mixtape coming out, <laughs> That's right? a good uh, yeah. Me versus me. You no, no, talk? no, no, no. Cottonwood 2. Cat what? Mm -hmm. Cottonwood 2. Oh, Cottonwood 2? Okay, you want to talk about that a little bit? What inspired that and uh, your thought process of making that? So Cottonwood 2. You see how he said I love him being the, the co-host. You really see that school gave you a good diction, education, diadectal mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Go ahead. He the balance. <laughs> um... Conwood 2, it came about, um, the first Conwood EP mm -hmm. I dropped, it was like, I didn't put my best foot forward, mm -hmm. I felt that way, um, I held back, and um, we're evolving every day, I was holding on to certain songs I felt that was, um, should be in the long run, like should be dropped a year from now, but mm -hmm. I was evolving so much that those same songs mm -hmm. got left behind, so I kind of just didn't put my best foot forward on Cottonwood EP. So Cottonwood 2 is just me saying, okay, I'm coming back full circle with this project mm -hmm. and putting my best foot forward from the music to the visuals to the rollouts. So yeah. Just that nature. You ever think about Doja Cat? <laughs> <laughs> she bad. She bad. She valid. She oh, valid. I'm sorry, guys. I got to forget about she bowed though. She bowed. She bowed. She bowed. Hey, we cut that. We cut that. No, 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 no. We keep. We can keep it in, bro. But on the real note, is I actually, I is Doja for you? Huh? Is Doja for you? No, no, not for me. It's making. I'm talking about a young, twenty years old. I was making, man. I'm making a stallion. No, making good. Oh yeah, Megan Good. Yeah, she bad. She's an actress, huh? Yeah. Okay. Good, I work with that too. <laughs> she older. Though. She older. You are, you... Yeah, man. I want you need you mommy all the time. Woman. He you needs wanna... mommy all the time, huh? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. Know, know what they don't you understand? Wanna, you want to grow. Woman. They don't understand that they're never gonna treat them like mommy treat them. That's, <laughs> that's when they get twisted up. They don't. No, no. That's why you got to. They them never like, do it. They don't. That's why you they remind your mommy, but they ain't gonna give you that mommy love. Take it from both of us. But that's the <laughs> thing, though. That she right. mummy, but you got to treat her like daddy. That's what make you superior, you know? King of the jungle, we take cougars down. <laughs> I mean, listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, with down. you. I'm with uh, you. Oh, hell. No, you got to understand. <laughs> Women make men. Yeah. The only reason you're a man because she acknowledged that you're a man. You don't even know sometimes. She has to tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Women... women Women make men literally. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. No, I they... astral projected. I went to the womb. Excuse me. I went to the womb. I know. The woman's womb. It was beautiful. Listen, um, we all have to go through. <laughs> for that. real, it was a. No, no, for we real. Are... I astral projected to a woman's womb. And I would brought... love to hear more, please. No, no, it brought a different like respect for women because, um, that's where I felt the presence of God. Just think about it. You in this place, you in this stomach, you in water, and um, you're pretty much being created. You're mm -hmm. being shaped. Your personality, how you gonna look, everything. Who's doing that? Besides just your mother, what you feeding? It's some, it's something. It's a, it's a, it's a spirit in there that's helping guide and creating and crafting whom you are. Well, there's a group of people that believe God's a woman. How you feel about that? I mean, that? I feel like God is a yin and a yang. It's both. You think he's balanced? It's it got to be balanced because without us, we can't get. Yeah. We without the male, you can't get the baby in the womb, and without the womb, without the woman, you can't. You can't get the womb. But listen, that's fifty fifty, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But in life, it's not fifty fifty. But it's also a balance. You got positive, you got negative. Yeah. You got basketball, you got football. Everything has like a a counter. Yeah. You know. How do you counter that? But at least in this situation, we're in the country right here with a survival of the fittest. Mm -hmm. If you can't crawl your way out the hole, you. Mm -hmm. You know, working, working, working a shoe shine boy or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? From what you're talking about, because you remind me of my son. Mm -hmm. um, he do his little uh, missionary stuff, 
And that's what needs to be done. People need better courses. Women need to be respected more. I'm talking about real yeah. shit, equal pay and all that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be like that for a while because we're still sexist. Mm -hmm. A man's going to always believe he's better than a woman because in the Bible, he said, that's the woman rib. Uh, mm -hmm. My rib, I made a woman. Mm. So for that, we still in, but we still gonna believe that we're superior than women. Mm. You know, we live in a country where the um, the media say, "Hey, this is the great woman. She's the vice president. She's this and that." But um, in any other aspect in life, these books and stuff for religion, they're always um, s um, second class citizens. Mm. Man, I feel like women are the most powerful piece we got. Oh, I believe that too. Yeah, when we play chess, it lets you know that the king can't do. King can move up, down, left, right. The queen can move all over the board. That's facts. So I feel like things are the simplest nature of that. Just lets you know what life is. So it makes you want to bring a, um, a huge respect to women, a huge things. There's a lot of things in the nature to women, and I've had my fair share where I wasn't. Oh, well, you're good. macaroni, huh? <laughs> what do you mean you're fair? You're only twenty years old, man. Nah, nah, man. I yeah, trust me, man. When you when you you blow up at sixteen, mm -hmm. you get you get the grown man responsibilities. Even before mm -hmm. that, like you get the grown man responsibilities. Um, from twelve years old, especially when you the when you the growing boy trying to be a man too quick, you get all of those. Did you, you have your father in your life? Yeah, he right over there. Pop. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, I had a great, you, I had a great you're a cool rapper and stuff. Huh? <laughs> you, know, you ain't shoot anybody yet, did you? <laughs> you I wouldn't say that. Yeah, you're not getting in trouble. Nah, nah, you know, <laughs> you know, we've been down them roads, you know. I'm just f***ing with you. <laughs> it's just we grew from it, you know. But I've been down every, I've been through every aspect of life. Only thing I ain't done in the streets is kidnap them up, so. But um, listen. It's never gonna stop. You gonna go to trials and tribulations to the day you die, but it's all about how you handle them. Yeah, always. Yeah. <laughs>Have you ever left a cart full of items in an online store because the shipping was too expensive? In a world where free and fast shipping is the norm, it could be harder for smaller e-commerce business to compete. Keep yourself competitive with ShipStation. Running a business can be stressful, but using ShipStation isn't. ShipStation offers a free trial and quick setup. And now it is time to try ShipStation out if you've been on the fence. ShipStation makes it easy to grow your business by handling your orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. ShipStation effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Manage every order from one simple dashboard. Automate routine shipping tasks, print shipping labels, easily compare rates and delivery times, and optimizes every shipment and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do it. Keep growing your business all year long. ShipStation, use promo code HOTBOXING today at ShipStation.com to sign up for the free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code HOTBOXING. What is the biggest thing you learned with all your success? <laughs> Mike, you funny, bro. Huh? <laughs> yeah, bro. It's a, you shoot a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, damn, that's what I know. I ain't know these shooting everybody. <laughs> that's, that's what I know, man. Man, some bro, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas just saying they shooting, shooting everybody. Them be the niggas that ain't shot nothing. That that I ain't really tell on somebody. Yeah, huh? this they tell before God get the news. <laughs> For <laughs> real, man. <laughs> but God get the news. But, God um, said he did that. He <laughs> <laughs> got by me. Mm -hmm. uh, now I was saying, uh, what was the, so? Uh, what's been the biggest thing you learned with all your success, and what's been the hardest thing, obviously, with the success? Like you know, the good and the bad that this came with. It. Man, the biggest thing about my success is just staying grounded. That was the biggest thing I learned because it was times I wasn't grounded. Mm -hmm. You know, I was in the upper echelon, but my feet weren't on the ground. Mm -hmm. I know so, that. Um, just staying grounded, staying true to who you are, because within. The process, you meet a lot of things blowing up. You meet, you meet, you meet the energy of lust. That's a huge energy. You meet, you meet people that's not supposed to be along the journey with mm. you. Um, you just meet all these different things, and if you're not humble, if your feet not on the ground, 
you'll lose it all. And um, the worst part of this is I've lost it all before. Mm -hmm. So I know how I feel to go from your highs and go to your lows. For sure. But um, within the process of both of those yin and yangs, I've learned to appreciate the lows more because I enjoy the highs now. Hell yeah. You know, when I'm there, I enjoy it to to the extreme because I've I've hit rock bottom. I've been I've been contemplating suicide. I've been on a Isn't edge. that fucking trip the suicide tap and shit? Man, it's going crazy. to did you go to psych ward? Mm. Oh fuck, I've been no, to no, psych you. ward. Oh, <laughs> man, I've but I've had people tell me, mama mama growing up, she telling me you need to go somewhere. No, no, it's not, don't be embarrassed. It's helping <laughs> it. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah man, but I've I've had my trials and tribulations and um mm -hmm. God isolates you. He isolated me and um only thing that was that was apparent was me mm. and the demon I had to fight and that was just a fight on the inside. So Yeah. We all have those demons. Yeah, man. I used to think I was the only one. <laughs> yeah. yeah man. Everybody have it. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty interesting though, because I'm an athlete, so I play football and oh, yeah, world so champion, I just been, I just world champion, the, I just world Rams. champion last year, won the world title, talk, <laughs> nigga, talk, Super Bowl champ right there, baby, oh, talk, that shit, talk, nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, but nah, for real though, like one thing they don't tell you about is like, you know, when you, when you get it, everything that like, you want, you get it, is that there is a whole different side to it. And like, and like you were saying, like you do have to stay grounded. Okay. And I think it's so commendable to you at your age, being mm -hmm. 20 years old, because I had to go through the same shit, bro. Yeah, like, you know, like temptation, women, all that. Yeah, uh, you favored that. by God, but yeah. when you favored by God, you favored by the devil as well, yeah. man. So with that being said, I was in the space of my life, I had everything I wanted. Mm -hmm. It was like the desires, that was the ego. Mm -hmm. But I had nothing I needed, and that mm -hmm. was God. Yeah. You know, so went through that, man. I think the ego get a bad rap. No, nah, it does. <laughs> I think it the does. ego get a real bad rap. It does, because you need, I, I, no, I say this all the time. No, what the ego tells me? Ego. The ego tells me, you are, you are a fucking cat, a drug addict. I got you back here. Now people going to tell me you to kill the ego. You going to kill me now? I, I, nah, man. I got you I'm back you, here. I'm now you going to kill me. That's my ego. So they weren't, when you were down, down and everything, mm -hmm. they weren't there. Mm -hmm. I got you back here. Now they going to tell me, fuck the ego. I'm mm -hmm. glad you say that because I feel like a lot of people, are getting led wrong these days. I see a lot of people doing ego deaths, doing these things to where they kill the ego mm. entirely. Then the motherfucker dead personally. He ain't got no heart, no no. You ain't nerve, got no drive, no drive. will, no no ambition. You just that on ego relax. make you say, I could do that too. Who do you yeah. think he is? Yeah, you just on passive mode, man. You got Listen, you for sure. Bug you out. They have a um, they're sending um, doctors to Japan, scientists to give Japan people the ego because they're too passive. Mm -hmm. To teach them about the ego, because these guys, yes sir, yes sir, they're always bowing to people. Mm -hmm. So they look what happened to them. All, all they do is work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. They don't have much fun. Drink, work, 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 work. Drink. Mm -hmm. That's all they do. Yeah, that's I, all they do. I believe ego is kind of what you were saying. Like ego is like the yin and yang. Yeah. Like you just have to know what side mm. to harness. It's kind of like a skill. Like what side to harness and like what side not to like touch. You feel me? My thing is with ego, you have to have humbleness. If mm -hmm. you have ego without hum humbleness, you're just yeah. out of touch. You're, out of touch you're not relatable to nothing. You're just the superior and, 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 and people. You will look at it from your point of view, out your eyes. If you have ego without the humbleness, you this, you that. But in other people's eyes, you that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what you don't want to be. Not saying you don't want to be judged by people. Because mm -hmm. I, I could care less what somebody think of me, but mm -hmm. I do know I never get like a a bad rep or rub someone the wrong way because mm -hmm. I know my ego, but I also know I'm humble to it as well. I know what I want. I know my desires. I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I know how big I am. I know my purpose. I know all of that. But, you know what I'm saying, within that process, I'm not bigger than no one. Mm -hmm. We all win. You know yeah. So No one's bigger than no one. Yeah. But ego comes in, arrogance and egos come in so many different forms. Some people give out charities. Look, I give all these motherfucking charities. That's all I do out here, charity motherfucking. You know, it's just it's a trip too, you know? <laughs> Chari um, ego's a trip too. Yeah. Even doing good shit, probably for the wrong reason to talk shit, but that, that happens too. Mm -hmm. See me feed all these motherfuckers out here. The government ain't doing this shit. <laughs> talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, but tell me, man, tell me, man. So when your music when your music hit 2K, how lit, how lit were you? About that. Well, look, you know, you yeah. grew up on 2K. Yeah, facts. You grew up playing games. Like, you know. Well, tell me about this T um, TK. 
Was it? <laughs> it's a, okay. It's a video game. Oh, okay, video game. The, best, the best ball game. Yeah, the best ball game. Sh- little album or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about this TK shit. <laughs> You funny as hell, Mike. Detachment, now we're with the detachment, brother. Yeah, man. All right, let's go into it. What's the deal with your your form of detachment? My form of detachment, um, I feel like just detach. It's, it's a lot of things. First and foremost, detaching from people that serve their purpose in your life is important because mm. you see a lot of people, <laughs> you see a lot of people killing um, their partners, you see a lot of people killing long-term friends, you see a lot of people going to jail behind things, just off the simple fact of you've had every sign to cut someone off and you didn't, you know, some pur- somebody purpose was served, but you didn't make sure that that, that their purpose was served, you didn't bring it to their attention. Um, that's one form of detachment for me, and another one is a real beautiful one I just learned. and um. I like this analogy, right? So me and you, we working on this painting, you know, we making this painting and let's put even more context into it is, is um, we got, we do a painting of Kobe and on the flip side, we got Tupac. So we painting this painting and we making it the best painting in the world. And me and you, we like, yo, this, this is it. This is better than anything Picasso ever done. This is the best painting to man. And it's this, it's this art museum. And then they have an art showcase the next day and we bring this paint amongst all these other paints that's there. And we looking at the paints, we looking at ours, we like, man, they paints, man, they, yeah. it ain't nothing. But the day before we talking about how the whole, how everyone that comes and view these paints is gonna love our paints. Mm-hmm. I said everybody else is right. So we present this paint, we put it on the pedestal and we sit back and wait for everybody to come to it. But no one comes to it. We're ready to have these conversations with these people to that'll potentially buy it, that'll potentially want to work with us, or do all these things, right? And we pass up all of these, all we pass up all of the morals of what the art is because no one looked at it, right? But by the end of the night, everyone's gone, and it's that one person that come and look at it. And the attachment was everyone's gonna love it. But the detachment was whoever loves it is meant, you know? So that one person that stuck around and looked at it, and um, he looks at this painting, he loves it, he loves it, but we brush him off because it wasn't everybody. Mm. And he walks away. But that was the billionaire that was willing to pay $100 million for it. Yeah. It wasn't everybody that saw it. It was him. That's who God sent to, to appreciate the work you put in. And that's what I've learned, you know, to detach, to detach from that. So if I'm making this product, if I'm making these things, because we create, we guys, we create. So it might not be the hundred million view song that I make. It might be the one view song, but that probably saved that person's life. So, you know, just that nature of detachment I've learned. And um, it's beautiful in my everyday life. It's just everything's meant. Oh, that didn't happen. That deal didn't work out. Okay. It didn't want to line with me. You know, just detaching from what we think things should be. You know? Mm. I know. What, what do you think things should be? I feel like things should be just a flow. It's just a flow of life. You know, jellyfishes, they don't swim. Jellyfishes go with the current. You know, when um, when dolphins eat them, they get high. For real? Yeah. <laughs> so that's like psychedelics. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, I heard, I think I heard it. Uh, but yeah, man, jellyfishes, they go with the current. And um, it was something else, another beautiful. I, it's a lot of beautiful analogies I like to live by because it just keeps me grounded. You ever hear of a mayfly? Mm-mm. Never heard of a mayfly? Mm-mm. It probably lives, what, if I'm lucky in an hour. It's not born with a mouth. Okay. So it has to be born, find a mate within, what, 10 minutes, have sex with her, impregnate her, Fly at least seven hundred miles to drop the um, you gotta be dead. So yeah, you, you how you die, and then the, um the females live for th- for three hours. So they gotta go put the eggs in the, the mud and just let the eggs um incubate. <clears throat> but before they die, they celebrate because they have light. They they light bugs, and then stop. Boom, they're dead. Imagine um. 
I mean, our for them must be like 10 years for us. Mm. You know? It's all in perspective. Yeah. A flight that got one hour to live, 10 minutes is a long time. Real long time. That's deep. And I put that in perspective because it's part of the ego chain. If that doesn't happen, everybody, everything in the world dies. They have to happen. It's a chain. They have to happen. Just like the trees, just like the birds. If they die, we die. Yeah. You know? We kill the country. If we die, the country flourish. The world flourish. If um, the country die, we die. Yeah. Just how it is. Indeed. I think life is just one big illusion. Mm. How could a guy come from where I came from, ooh, where I came from, and be right here? We make money, have family. So that's how come I know it's a God. Mm. Nobody like me should be up here talking to you. Mm. But it didn't turn out that way. Mm. You never think about how I get here. How did that song get um, platinum? Mm. You, know, you think it's really you? Mm. Uh, God navigates us. I'm not smart enough to do mm-hmm. what I did, so I know what God navigates That's me. That's the surrender. I love that. Yeah, I know I I'm, say too, that I'm not smart enough to be here. I say that all the I'm time. I'm not smart enough to be like this. No, nah, no way, man. But that's that's the genius of the artistry of who we are, because I relate to it deeply. Like, I write songs, and I get all the praise. I'm like, bro, I wrote that song in my sleep. I fell asleep, and it's some. it's a realm I went to, and we made that. I ain't make like it's 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 deep, man. I I record songs, I write them in my sleep amongst people with me, and I come back down here and make it physical. Hey, listen, the universe gives us the light. Mm-hmm. We can f- the light up though, but yeah. we have it. You know, mm-hmm. we have it to do what we can do with it. But we can f- the light. we can make it real dark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it can be taken away. So can. So let's talk about what you do in the community. You have a wellness store, if, I, if I'm correct. Yeah, so I sell um herbal. Yeah, the vegan ass. Health, <laughs> listen, right? He does it all, bro. I see it all. I see you going to like Haiti, building um dams, canals, help, helping people, talking God and all that. I do that. I see it. I see you. I can see, 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 see you do that. Yeah. I can see you. He can go to Gat, the Gandhi, right? Throw all that chain, all that. Is we a robe or something? Yeah, man. <laughs> Loving God, giving flowers to people, talking to the Pope. And so if you if you manifesting that over my life, you gotta acquire yourself in it. We gotta do Hell it. Hell yeah. Come on, let's go do it. We can always do it. say I'm gonna meet the Pope one day. I'm gonna meet the Pope ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. I feel like that's the highest. Do you human go ass. out? Do you go out? Talk with your boys, talking Yeah, man. I try to good, keep that good. balance. Um I still you know, I'm just I am balanced, you know, so on the on the same tip. Tell if you got a lot of girls, right? Uh, yeah, I love women, bro. How could you not? I love women. But it's man. just um, twenty years old. The hell of a thing, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I can't even remember when I was twenty. Yeah, bro. But I'm very disciplined in that aspect, though. For a twenty year old, I you think know, so I go too. celibate sometimes. I, I think you are too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. I when I was when I was champ, I was too young, just like you, to go to a bar. And I would just wait outside my car and show the girls my car. You know, I just had a new world where like, hey, you see my car? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> no, no. That is crazy. I never had no money before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, P hey. game. No, listen. This is the front of the club. I'm right here at the, the guy that Mike, you can't get in. You all know your age. I'm like, chill. I'm champ of the world. My Rolls Royce right here is for it. And, me, and she wants to go out and say, hey, how you doing? What's up? See my new car? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I kid you not, my manager just told me, like he, my manager just told me, (laughs) (laughs) my manager just said, he was like, um, it was his story, I I can't remember who told him that, he said, he said, yeah man, um, he said, yeah man, Mike, it's the story of Mike, he was riding around in his Rolls Royce, he just, he just laid his window down to beep his horn, hey baby, you see my Rolls Royce? (laughs) Like, it's funny you just say that, like, I see my car, (laughs) man. (laughs) <laughs> oh, Mike, what a crazy <laughs> all right. so, What inspired you to start all this health yeah. consciousness stuff? Um, It, it kind of came to me. Like, it, Did you ever drink and smoke before? Yeah, I was a... I used to drink, smoke, pop pills. I used to do a lot of those things. Um, But it just kind of... It's towards, beautiful, man. It's part of the test. Yeah. If you don't have no test, you have no testimony. Mm-hmm. For sure. You got part of the test. 
So yeah, I went through those stages, but the stage that I'm in now with even just veganism, um, mm -hmm. herbal, living on um, meditation, mm -hmm. um, it showed me both sides of what what really works. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is what works with me, and I never resort back, you know, never. Like, never. Like, I don't see myself ever going back because that person is dead. You know, I grew from that person. And um, the way I live today, I'm so appreciative because I use the power of reflection a lot. I love to reflect. I love to go through my phone and see those videos of me mm. like only I see. Like, it's videos on my phone. I've cried to my camera because I'm like, man, look at you, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, no, look, at, look at you. Like, yeah, inventory is important. Dude. Yeah, yeah man. So it's been, it's been times where I was down on my last, man. And um, it was thoughts to where I used to be like, yo, I'm better off not here. So I've known what I know what I grew from. And, and I'm just so appreciative of the new. I'm so appreciative of what if then my prayers was answered, I'm so appreciative that um, God was never done working on me, you know, and he never gave up on me. He never gave up. Because you didn't give up. Yeah. Once you give up, all the doors or opportunities are closed. Mm -hmm. I always remember that. This is an illusion. Never give up. Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> Listen, I've been rich and broke so many times I can't even count. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and if I, if, 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 if I lost all this shit right now, I'll get it again. Mm -hmm. It's just what, just who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not arrogant, but that's just who I am. It's the flow. I'm just born to succeed. Yeah. yeah. That's who you are. That's what they are. You're a winner. Champion. You know, <laughs> we fail too, but in order, in order to succeed, you have to fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. Failing is the best part. The best teacher. Yeah. Best I'm teacher. You. And we was born with everything we had, like. What's, yeah. the point of living? Point. <laughs> What's the well, point? What's the point of living? What's the point of living? What's the point without growing, the pain? Yeah. You know, this time I realized this in my life. You know, um, if you believe a lot of money and fame is gonna make you happy, you never had a lot of money and fame. Mm. You know, happiness is within you. You know mm. what I mean? I have friends that got billions of dollars. They don't buy nothing. Mm. You know what I mean? Because that's who they were before they had the money. Mm. You know, everything. Um, when I didn't have anything, I wanted everything. Now that I got everything, I don't want it. We want less. Less yeah. is more. You don't want it. That was just me at 20 years old, man. Listen, I still got, all I got out of my boxing career is stuff. It's in my house, stuff, clothes, stuff. It's a bunch of stuff that I don't even wear anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, if anybody came in my um, closet of any of the houses, they would say, Mike, invest most of his money in clothes. Mm. But you can't believe the rack, stuff that hasn't been worn for 20 years. Yeah. And um, I want to put it on a sale or something. Yeah, that's a good... Yeah, stop. Give me, give me something first. Yeah. Man. I mean, you can't I'm win, man. Really you know, I'm not talking about I'm big, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, It's not to like work. This. It's not to oh. work. It's a hang up somewhere, you know. Oh, that's cool, too. Yeah. I, got, I got so much clothes yeah <laughs> need that mic energy in my life man go boxing in it or something yeah need the energy you transfer your energy is belief you know confidence confidence breeds success success breeds confidence mm -hmm. and if you apply your comp your confidence appropriately mm -hmm. you can supersede a genius it's all about how you feel about yourself mm -hmm. you gotta love yourself all the time mm -hmm. you know don't fall in love with yourself but love, love yourself, yourself. Yeah. I love that you said too. Over your career, you just accumulated stuff. Yeah, it's you know? stuff. Um, At one time, it was everything for me. Going to the, to the balls, going to the parties. It's nothing now. Yeah, man. Nothing. I've always stand firm on just knowing like nothing physical will bring you that. Um, I feel like the simplest thing in my breath brings me peace. You know, you're not, not money. If not, you're not, if you're not helping people, you you waste your life. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. <clears throat> Enough for people that's for you can't help everybody, but everybody can help somebody. Mm -hmm. you know? That's what my parents always taught me. Like, always, always use your blessings to be a blessing, you know, yeah. to help people out and use their platform. Mm -hmm. So I think, and you're doing that too. I think I love. Uh, if I read correctly, you doing this reading challenge, right? Yeah, reading challenge for, for the kids. kids. You, you want to talk about that a little bit? Oh, if I'm a fail, that. Sh <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fail that sh <laughs> like, I was gonna go with the program. Hey, I be. I help you out, brother. Nah, that you <laughs> know, I was gonna beat all oh, you dirty mother. Man. Spelling. Man, the, the reading, <laughs> the reading challenge. <laughs> it, 
it came about, man, it was this school that was failing. Mm. And you know, if you were failing school, the state will eventually take over or it can turn into a um, charter school or even an alternative school. So that was just pretty much the reading challenge was like the appetizer of the main purpose, the main goal. Mm. Just challenging kids to do something in a positive light was mm. the purpose. They want them, but they want somebody to influence them. Yeah, push them. to push them to, you know, instead of pick a gun, shoot them up, shoot them up, bang. That's music, that's entertainment. But yeah. what's real is me in their face, hey, mm -hmm. challenging y'all. Like, I challenged the school to read, Um, I challenged each student to read 100,000 words. And keep in mind, it was a failing school. Um, Damn, 100,000 words, what you gotta read? War and Peace? <laughs> <laughs> 100,000 words? Uh, yeah, man. What the f but, <laughs> get them right, try to get them right, right? But I Pete, I'm playing around. around. Lulu, a Lucy Cation, well, how you f up? <laughs> With you, man. It started with, it was funny though, it started with just challenging them to read 100,000 words. What grades are these kids in? So it goes from, they was like from pre-K to like middle school. Yeah, wow. cool. Yeah. I mean, it was pre-K, but it stopped at middle school, so. Yeah. That's a great target. That's a great target though. Kindergarten to like, you know, fifth yeah. grade. So yeah. after that though, we pretty much, we got <laughs> the, we implemented it. the challenge. I went to ninth was, grade, but especially that, that's like third grade really, like, mm -hmm. real time of, and um, no real life. Now, listen, I tell you, I was f***ed up. I was in the, they gave me Thorazine. I was in the special class. And shit. <laughs> I was f***ed up, man. Well, look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> you winning, Mike. Ooh. I love this talking. So, yeah, you're saying, uh, you're saying that uh, kids from pre-K to... Yeah, man, kindergarten to like um, pretty much elementary school, yeah. we challenged them to read 100,000 words. Um, it was a failing school, and over a few years, over a few years when we first give, started to give back, they started to grow mm -hmm. from not a failing school anymore. And then, um, like two years ago, we implemented the reading challenge, challenging them to read 100,000 words. And um, by the end of the year, they read 27 million as a collective. So, See, that's what they need. They need a better hope for life. That's why people do this shooting. Shit. If they had a better hope for life, they wouldn't do that. Shit. Yeah, I used to be just like them. Then I got a better hope for life. Started boxing. Mm -hmm. No more. Yeah, no more. Just some direction, a direction <clears throat> of positivity. That's Absolutely. all that's needed. That's why I just wanted somebody to be that loved me, that pushed me. Mm -hmm. Once I got that, pff, it was a wrap. Good. Yeah. Yeah, man. See, that's... you got your mother and your father. You're very fortunate. Baby. Mm -hmm. Always. It's never taken for yeah, granted. Yeah, very fortunate. Yeah, man. Yeah, very man. fortunate. Thank you. Thank you, man. See, my father wasn't in my life. That's why I laughed on the stage. Yeah, but that's it's just your Everybody knows your father but you. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the neighborhood knows your father, hung out your father me, but you. Mm -hmm. It's a trip. And then your mother. I slept with my mother since I was 12 or 16. Mm -hmm. You know, I had nobody else to raise me. I was raised by my mother mm -hmm. and the prostitutes in the street. Mm -hmm. But I think they did a good job. Yeah, man. It made good. you who you was. Yeah. You wouldn't change nothing about it. No way. Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Thank God. Because if I did change, I wouldn't be here. For sure. You know, you just got to mm -hmm. get beat up a little bit by life, and then mm -hmm. it's cool. Just don't quit. You know? I hate when people say that, um, I wish I could go back and change this or change mm -hmm. that. And then you wouldn't yeah. be the person you were. You might die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. My... My perspective of God, I believe that everything was already written before he said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. I just believe that. It's all written. You think God, well, if there's a God that we believe, you think he's going to um, wait well, I think he's going to die tomorrow well, I think he's going to be a millionaire today. It's just God is who we are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, we have flaws. That's the only thing. But, you know, it's who we are. Do you, do you think, though... Um and they're not flawed. People made them flawed. They made rules. That's what I was going to ask. That's what I was going to ask. Do you think that when people obviously deter from that or deter a certain way, it kind of rewrites the script, though? Listen, like if you did a, a true black history investigation, you would have to change the history of the world. You have to change these time methods, how they build this pyramid, how long this been. You think they could really test something that's two million old, two million years old? They found this. Um, I think it was Lucy. Lucy was probably three million years old. And how do they know? We only know what they tell us. We don't know. If, how do you tell this this mummy's three thousand years old? 
How you could tell, they said the rings of a tree, you could tell how old the tree is. It might be true, but we believe everything they told us. Of everything I know in my mind, somebody told me. Or I read somebody's book that told me through a book. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't know nothing. Mm-hmm. That's true. And Ali, so who, who would you like to work with? Like, um, <laughs> Dead or Alive? Carl dead or Alive, Carl. Dead or Alive, yeah. I ain't gonna say Tupac. Pac. Gotta sure. say Pac, yeah. gotta say Pac. Pac. For sure, Pac. MJ, Mike. Yeah, gotta say MJ. And um, Alive. Drake. Yeah, I get that on the show. Do you? Drake, yeah. You do? Yeah. You got a time right? Me? Yeah. Mm-mm, I wish. I got, I got, you. I got you. I would baby. FaceTime him right now. You. Don't be trying to skip the all right? <laughs> <laughs> me and Mike gonna go get it, man. We gonna go get it. <laughs> man, tell us some more shit about you, man. Um. What do you like to do? What, what do you do when you're hanging out with your daughter? Where do you go? You got beef with your daughter and moms and you can't see the chick and shit. <laughs> I had that shit too. You, you think you only had to go through that shit? Yo, you got to listen to Letter to My Daughter. Oh, it's a beautiful man. song I made. I think you'll relate, man. But Yeah, put it on. I'm trying to take the money to give me my kids. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I love to do with my daughter, though? What? Pray. Praying She's school, very good. She's two and she knows school. how to pray. I've taught her how to pray. Pray in school. Mm. Those your moves? That's my legit. Okay. (laughs) Oh, the documentary. (laughs) Wanna put some some vibe? Hey, volume. Hold on, replay. Take it back a little bit. It's a lot over here for me. I saw this one before. Remember you said the group home. I remember mm-hmm. this song, yeah. Who's Mariah? My baby mother. I figured that out. <laughs> oh, you spit. Yeah. Oh, hell, okay. it, it. Went to jail with her, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know that. You can't do that suicide game with that right there. Right there. You can't okay. do that suicide yeah, game, baby. And do you know this? If you do it, she's going to do it. Yeah. It's, it's um, Come on. scientifically. When a parent kills themselves, the kids kill themselves. Yeah. It's a beautiful song, bro. No, uh, for sure, man. Yeah, man. Um... What the baby mother say that's whack? <laughs> Probably would. <laughs> but you don't realize though what you're doing right here is you know someone's listening to that and they relating to you. You feel me? Like you, mm-hmm. like you, you save so many people. They listen, making this song. listen. When he got locked up, I remember one day my baby mother was leaving the house and I didn't want. I blocked her like this. That's a kidnap charge. 
Crazy. <laughs> no, that's not that. If she's leaving, you go like this, you ain't going nowhere with my baby. That's a kidnapping. Yeah. In New York, it is. If you stop him from wanting to leave, kidnap charge. But it's Listen. the thing of the nature how you say that, and I feel like same. it's pretty much a different story, but the same concept, the same thing. Listen, know what you don't realize yet? It's going to all be okay. She's going to be you. She's going to be your best friend, and all this shit's going to be history. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, it's just... It's just that we have to be patient with time. Yeah, and that's what I was. I, f I got a lot now. A yeah. lot now. Be patient. You know? Get a motherfucker check. Here you go. Get your baby. Mm. It's worth it. So. Wow. What damn. else do we have to do? I was going to man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it, too. Huh? I'm thinking about it. I did that. Went through that shit, too. Yeah. So, what's next for you? What's what's goals do you have in... in uh, in mind that you want to accomplish for this year, 2023. Get some more Grammys and, huh? Mm hmm You want to get nominated? How you know what I was thinking? Oh, yeah. Plaster the wall with your Grammys. Yeah. How you know what I was thinking, Mike? Plaster the wall. That's you got to you you believe that. No. Yeah, you got to believe it every time. Throw it out. Dream I it. got it. I already wrote my Grammy speech how much I got. Yes, yeah, so. sir. That's how you got to do I ain't it. got a nomination, not one of them, but I've already written the speech, man. So. Yeah. It's coming. That's what you gotta do. That's what you coming. gotta do. Coming. When, when I get it, we're gonna come back here. Yeah, we're gonna drink <laughs> some shit. <laughs> we can drink some, some shit out the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna get what you drink. Water. Oh, I love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we drink on the same, we're on the same trip. I'm gonna tell you, that's the goal, man. Um, had the most billboard entries this year. Mm -hmm. uh, your number only one purpose album. At 20 years old, your only purpose is just conquer the world. That's your only is purpose, it? just conquer yeah. the world. And that's nothing bad. Mm -hmm. You conquer the world, you give part of the world to other people that's less fortunate. Yes, sir. You know? That's exactly. But you won't feel yeah. guilty. And conquer shit. the world. Conquer the world. That's, that's it. But you had OBJ in one of your videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Champions? OBJ? Mm -hmm. Champions. He's on Odell Beckham. All right. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I know Odell. How'd that come about? That's hard. Oh, that's my boy. Um, You're fine. He's I don't fine. know where I met him, but. But um, he's always been real since I met him, you know. So that's my dog, and um, we had the same trainer. He cheated, ripped. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, man. You talking about Dale? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he he just got buffed. Shit. He ripped. He even buffing him. He works hard. Yeah, he, he do. Works hard. He do. He way buffing him when he first came in, for sure. Like. Yeah. 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 You talking good shit right now? I already conquered it. Yeah, you can do it again. Gotcha. There's many worlds to conquer. Gotcha. Conquer this world, then. Gotcha. How long? How long does it take you to make make this song? Honestly, making it as far as recording it. Yeah, like, um, like we're recording it. About like an hour. About an hour. Sometimes is that easy? Is that Got your medals and shit. Mm, about an hour. <clears throat> Hard. Uncrowned king, huh? <laughs> Look how far rapping came. Hmm. Look how far hip hop came. Mm -hmm. mm. What's one of your favorite songs you've you've written? Like one of your one of your personal favorites. Champion. This this one. This one of my favorites. Champion. It's for sure one of my favorites. Man, I'm currently actually too. 
Excuse me? I'm, I'm still working on a music video for this. I'd love for you to be in it. Whatever I can do to help you, if I'm around, I'll do it. It's a video full of champions. It's a video with um, Drake. I didn't know he was a video. He shook my hand out front in the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I'm a video dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna ask your question? Excuse me? I'm gonna ask your question. Oh, check this out. These are millions and millions of people here, right? Mm hmm. They, I'm sure they like you now, they saw your personality. Let them know how they can get in touch with you, how they can write and then and then that all that shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm most accessible on Twitter because I run my Twitter and Ellie Chopper One. Um and Ellie Chopper music on Instagram. I don't run that, but I still see things of the nature of like comments on posts. Uh, TikTok too. I got a big following on TikTok. I don't know how. It just kind of happened. <laughs> it's Making like good 15 music. million people on there. So, good music, and Ellie Chopper oh, music. Yeah. So. Not happening by accident. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Snapchat and Ellie Chopper music as well. So. These millions of people want to tell them you love them or something. God bless your baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, with that being said, to a viewer, if you're facing adversity, you're back against the wall, I just want to leave on a motivational tip and a yeah. positive tip. Um, keep pushing, you know, keep going. And um, just know every dark day comes a brighter one. So appreciate y'all, man. Hey, that was beautiful, brother. Really beautiful. Thank you. So what we're gonna do, baby? Gift, the gift. Oh, give him the gift. Hi, that's what it's going. <laughs> Brother, this is some Tyson 2.0. I don't know if you smoke. Maybe somebody in your crew does. Yeah. You know. Thank you, thank you. Papa Chopper could get their honors on. Cheers, Hopper. <laughs> that's some good. Are oh, these these? Does he have any ears? Do we have any mic bites or something? Yeah. These edibles. Oh, um, yeah. Can't keep them on the shelf. So it's so loud all the time. Oh, Lordy. I'm all right, this is another episode of Mike Tyson coming to an ending. I'm Mike Tyson. We had the man Chopper. And I'm Bash. We out of here. Thank you, brother Chopper. Thank y'all.